we're getting is from, I don't know the name of the cart. Fucking Doodle Moo. Is it? Okay. Got some hot wings and a little... French onion tender. sirloin slider. Yeah, Something slider. Like that. It's gonna be spicy, I can tell. I mean, not real spicy, but it does have that barbecue. Is it like buffalo or, or yeah. spicy? Buffalo, that's what it is. Oh, okay, like buffalo sauce. It's good. A little spicy for me, but it's good. It is good. What's your rating? I got a five. I just got a bite. Give me a second here. I think. Because it's got some sweetness to it, too. I think four out of five. Because I would eat this again. But I feel like it needs like ranch and something like that to go with it for me to give it a five. I will give it a four out of five only because it's called a ranch one. I don't know what. Where's the ranch? They're called ranch wings, but it's buffalo. It's a buffalo sauce. That's legit. It fell apart though, but yeah, it's good. It's just from you. What do you rate this one? On a scale of like one to five, probably like four. Okay. It's just a little tough to eat, but it's pretty good. It looks serious. It is serious. Full on piece of steak. Oh. Ew, I don't want to touch that. <laughs> See, that was me, but it's good. That's why I was like, I need a napkin. I don't want to touch it. Just grab it or stab it with a fork. The bottom bun's like drenched in the sauce and a little grease or a little soggy. And I don't feel like eating that. It's not, so it's like them. not soggy like you'd expect though. Get a little bit of the, the sauce and the onion. Come on. Okay, it's a so French much. onion thing. Okay. Done with it, just like that. Steak is good though, right? In it, uh... it's good. I like the flavor. I like the flavor. The steak is good. The sauce is good. Just looking at it freaks me out a little. Yeah, I'd probably give that a four out of five too, but I think I like the wings more. It's our second day at food and wine. And we just went to the LA, what is it, LA style cart? Mm -hmm. And so we got it. Euro, I don't know what the description is. Impossible meat. Oh yeah, whatever. impossible meat, Euro. And then. Glazed pork belly. Yeah, with some mac salad. With furikake on a macaroni salad. I didn't get any meat. It does have a little spice to it. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Yeah? I like the mac salad. I'm just trying to avoid the seasoning on stock. It's not bad. Like, that's not too spicy. We just went to the Golden Dreams cart by Grizzly Peak and got the salmon salad. For me, it got worse the more I chewed. It tasted like like the fish was like old and dry, so it was like 
and then like the it tastes like beer, you know, like the the hoppy citrus beer. I don't know. It's all right. Yeah, the the top is a little hard Where's to this? chew. Where's this? Um, I rate this like a three out of five. Zero. Zero and a half. Damien says zero. You can't say zero. So one. Oh man. How can I do like a point five? I guess. He says 0.5 for this, but for earlier, the pork belly and mac, probably a five out of five for me. What do you rate the pork belly and mac? Uh, out of what? Five. Out of five? Like a, like a three and a half, four? It was good, but like macaroni salad doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's like just meh. Nah. And then like the pork belly's cold. Yeah, I like the flavor. I mean, yeah, but so like... So I give it, I give it like actually a four and a half out of five. Damn. Um, like, maybe like a four. The Euro? I give that like, like a, a three, three and a half. Yeah, three. It wasn't bad, but it was just... It beat the hell out of this thing. You think the gyro and this are on the same... This thing made me want to throw up. The gyro at least was like, okay. Yeah. The... Uh... Like, I don't hate the salmon, but it definitely could be a little better. But we're standing next to a cute Mickey. Yeah, I can't do any more that, dude. Okay. I was trying to help finish it. Much appreciation. We went back to cluck a doodle do to get some more wings from last time, because they were so good. Adventure Food and Wine Festival will proudly present the Tina Aldana Band, a dynamic group that kicks it up with pop, Latin, and 80s and 90s rock. Please join us for this special performance by the Tina Aldana Band, beginning in just a few minutes. That's cool. We'll get to see a band. Okay. Oh. Do you think they're as good as last time? They're a little cold. Mm. They're not bad. What do you think of them? They're a little more spicy this time, but they're good. if you could see it on there. Do it, grab some. It's not bad, but it's definitely freaky. I'm honestly scared. This is gonna mess me up. It's warm, I was not expecting that. <laughs> this is an experience. It's a good flavor, but I would never think to put like peanut butter on macaroni. Yeah. The Pop Rocks makes it feel like it should be something in uh, Olga's. Yeah. Some sort of weird alien food. I give this like a two out of five. This is way better than that shit ass salmon. It's just freaking me out. <laughs> it's good, but it's freaking me out. I would say a three. I'd give this. Yeah, like a low end three. That salmon is like a half. This was our last tab. We spent three tabs on just chicken wings. 
well. We're boring. That's our food and wine experience. I don't know how it feels. <laughs> You it tastes eat? almost like mac and cheese, just because. I don't know how I feel. Okay. That's all. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. See you at the next festival. You definitely can't eat this whole thing. Oh no. Okay. See ya. <laughs>